Hey everybody, so recently the Unico Fun R1 Dual Arcade Stick popped up on the official Batacera site as a supported device. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to spend some time on uh, with you today on how to uh, install Batacera on the Unico Fun R1. If you want to know more about the Arcade Stick, uh, Retro Ralph did a great video on it about a year ago, so I'm going to leave a link to uh, his video in the description. But uh, for now, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the official website, which is uh, batacera.org. And uh, once you get in there, you can, you know, learn a little bit more about it, but you're going to want to go to the download section. So right up there on top, click on downloads, and now you're going to actually choose your architecture, choose the system that you're wanting this image for. As you can see, Batacera supports a lot of devices, Raspberry Pis, uh, TV boxes, even the uh, Capcom Home Arcade system is there and supported. But you're looking for that Unico Fun R1. So you can either click the image of the arcade stick or click on the direct link. It takes you to the same thing. Uh, once you get started on the download, you can actually spend some time learning a little, more, a little bit more about it. As a matter of fact, uh, it'll give you instructions on how to burn the image. I suggest you get a micro SD card because um, you want to reserve those US ports for like additional uh, arcade sticks or additional game pads. Um, but once you get the image, you're going to want to extract it. I have a Mac, so I just use the in-house extraction tool. Uh, no special utilities or anything like that are required. If you have a Windows machine, I'd imagine WinZip, WinRAR, uh, 7-Zip, any of those will, will do just fine. Main thing is to extract the image because when you get it, it's not it's compressed, so you're going to want to get it out of there. Uh, once you do, now you can actually open up Belena Etcher, so you will have to get that software. And, um, and now you begin the process. You don't have to uh, format it, format your SD card because during the burning process, that's what you're doing. You're essentially creating a new image on that SD card. So you select the image and then you want to select your target, which is the device that you're going to burn onto. And uh, once you do that, you just flash it. And this process doesn't take long. You might be prompted to put in your password uh, just because, you know, it's a, it's a big deal to the system, I guess, that you're going to be burning something onto a, a card. Uh, I sped all this stuff up just to kind of get through it quickly. But uh, once you burn it and you have your card, you're ready to go. So we're going to spend some time and show you how to how to open things up. All right. So the next thing you're going to want to do is flip the system over and unscrew the 10 screws that are indicated there on the in the image. Uh, get rid of those screws so you can remove that plate. And you're going to have four more screws uh, to the plate that's covering the board. And on the board itself, there's like these four little legs that use a five millimeter uh, hex. Now you're gonna just go ahead and get rid of those. Uh, once you have the board uh, loose, loosen it up and, and set it on something that's non-conductive. Now it's time to kind of get things going. So you're gonna want to get your micro SD card or your USB stick, whatever you decided to burn onto, and uh, insert that. Go ahead and plug in your HDMI and your power. And when you're ready, hold on to that white button that the arrow is pointing to. You're gonna want to keep that pressed down. Keep it pressed down the whole time. Uh, while you're powering on. So hold down that white button, power on the system. And then now you're gonna be, you know, keeping an eye on the on the on your screen. And uh, you're gonna see the Unico logo splash and then it's gonna go dark and then it's gonna maybe cycle one more time. When you see the Unico logo come up a second time, you can let go of that button. And the next thing it'll do is it'll boot into uh, Batacera. All right, so one of the cool things about this is that you're going to have games to start off with. So this image already comes with games packed in. Uh, they're uh, freeware and homebrew for all of these different systems that I'm kind of navigating through here. So you'll be able to kind of click into the, each of those folders and kind of see what, what there is to offer. There are some fun games in there, so I'm, I think you'll be surprised with some of the cool stuff that's in there. But uh, before you kind of get started with everything, the, the most important thing that you should do is set up your network. So you're going to want to go into your game settings. And if you have like an Ethernet cable, then plug that thing into your Fun R1 and then you're, you're pretty much done. Uh, but otherwise, you'll want to go into your settings and go into your network settings and set up your Wi-Fi uh, so that you could um, start getting some, uh, some of the themes and being able to access artwork and things like that for the games that you're going to eventually add on to your system. So that's kind of what makes Batacera special are the themes. Uh, there's something for everyone and there's a lot of people out there. There's a huge community that kind of creates a lot of, a lot of, uh, you know, really beautiful uh, things, beautiful user interfaces, I guess is what they are. But these themes are really cool. Um, the other thing is, is that, you know, you'll be able to do all that through the Fun R1. So you're not going to have to unplug and turn off your system, unplug the, take out the SD card and add content to it and then bring it over and then do all that. You do it all through the Fun R1 through, you know, the uh, network uh, interface. 
Uh, so you'll be able to select your theme. And I think I'm about to show you that in a, in a second where you actually go in and, and choose themes like right here. So you can actually browse all the different themes that are out there and download. And when it does is it'll actually download, uh, unzip it and install it onto your system without you ever having to do anything other than, you know, making your selection. So that's kind of cool. Uh, in the next minute or so, I'm just going to take you through some of the different themes that I've already downloaded. And once that's cycled through, what I'll do is uh, I'm going to show you some something that I've been working on too. So just uh, check this out and uh, I'll be back. All right, so right here, I'm just kind of taking you through uh, quickly through some a theme that I've been kind of working with, and, and as I'm learning about Batacera, um, I've I kind of wanted to, to learn how to make my own theme. So I'm using Carbon, which is the stock theme that comes with the image, and I'm just kind of playing around within that world or within that theme um, as I'm learning. Uh, so those of you that are familiar with my channel, uh, you'll recognize a lot of these like backgrounds and cover arts. Uh, because I kind of I, I poured it over uh, some of the, the things that were done in previous uh, devices uh, onto this Fun R1 uh, project. So, um, but I'm still learning. Uh, this is a new uh, Neo Geo um, Neo Geo Pocket theme that, that was never really, I guess, formally released. Um, so there's still a lot of work to be done with that. But I think it looked really cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's there's just a lot of things that you can do. So I mean, there's themes out there for you if you're not interested in, in doing your own thing but I want to get into how to add content so we're gonna spend some time on that next now we're just going to add some content to the system as you can see I have like three or four games that I want to go ahead and throw into the fun r1 this is on my Mac um, but I'm networked in so the the fun r1 is actually still powered on right now um, as you can see there I have a Batacera location so we're, so it's gonna see that uh, it's gonna see that location so what I did is I clicked on Batacera and it might take a few moments to, to load the, the folder. It's called the share folder. And that's where you're gonna get, that's where you're gonna be able to add um, all your uh, games. So once you click on the share folder, it's gonna populate a bunch of other different folders where you'll see like artwork, sounds, music, just a, a, lot, of, uh, a lot of media that, that uh, is useful for the theme or for the, the whole system. But what you're looking for is obviously the, the ROMs folder. That's where we're going to actually uh, put the games in. Once you click into the ROMs folder, you're going to be uh, greeted to like tons and tons of folders because each of those folders either represent systems or subsystems. So for example, uh, the theme that I was showing you earlier, it shows CPS1, CPS2, and CPS3. So you don't necessarily need to do it that way. You can actually have everything into one place. But uh, what we're going to do is I'm looking for an FB Neo folder because I have Mortal Kombat 1, 2, and 3. And I want FB Neo to be the emulator that runs those games. So I'm looking for that folder. And once uh, you get that folder, you just want to drag your content into it. And I'm going to just quickly zip through the process because it you know, takes a while to load or whatever. So I'm just kind of speeding that up a little bit. Um, then we're just going to go back to the Fun R1. So this is the Fun R1, just waiting to, you know, for me to make a decision on what I want to do. So now that I've added those games, what I want to do is refresh the game list, uh, and uh, so that we can see the the content that I've added, the games that I've added, which in this case is Mortal Kombat, one, two, and three. So what you want to do is set up, open up your menu, and uh, once you do that, you go to Game Settings and update game list I said refresh but it's update so you just click on that and what it'll do is it'll essentially just scan the SD card for anything that's new uh, from before it wants to obviously you want to make sure that's what you want to do it did so now you see an FB Neo folder there on the left so now because it detected there's new content in that folder that wasn't there before I didn't have anything in FB Neo and now I have games, but I don't have any artwork or anything like that. So, but they're listed, so the, they're ready to play. 
but um, part of Batacera is, you know, it looks nice. So you want to go ahead and get your content. Again, you'll go back into the settings, and now we're going to scrape. Uh, we're going to use the scraper. And it, within this scraper, you have a lot of different settings. So here I'm, I'm going to select games missing any media. Uh, you can set the time, you know, like the last 15 days if you're constantly adding content. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and scrape now. And what it'll do is it'll detect the games that I have that are new, that I don't have uh, artwork for or media for. That's what it's doing right there. And it's downloading everything, putting it in the right folder, writing a game list or doing whatever it needs to do in the background to ensure that I have all, the, all that content, all the, uh, I guess, the art assets and things like that set up for the games. <clears throat> and uh, once that's done, I'll want to go ahead and go back into game settings and to refresh or update the game list. Anytime you make any new changes, you're always going to want to do that. So now, just going back into FB Neo, you see I have screen caps or screen art, uh, screenshots of Mortal Kombat's 1, 2, and 3. And if I, you know, just kind of pause at any one of those games, it'll uh, it'll start to play some video, which is which is cool. And you can always use different uh, style. You can have like a box art, things like that. But this is just a quick demonstration to show you that. That third, that fourth game is an experimental game. It's like a widescreen format of Street Fighter 3 that it's not available. So really, I'm just going to show you a demonstration right here just on the fact that we're running Mortal Kombat 2. Once we've added it in and got some art for it, this is the actual game just kind of running on the system. And it's really quick. I'm just going to add some credits, play like not even a full round. So overall, the Fun R1 can handle quite a bit of games. Uh, it's not like a power beast. So don't expect like Dreamcast or anything, you know, modern. But uh, I mean, it will play tons of arcade games. This clip right here, just demonstrating like all the different controllers that I actually was successful hooking up to the Fun R1. So you can play four player games. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to do a quick intro on Batacera on the Fun R1. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.